you have been negotiating for a while, you are not quite sure that uh, there is still a lot you could create in terms of value at the table. Right? You are clear more and more about uh, elements of price, elements of uh, structuring the guarantees in the deal. So maybe it's time to close the deal. And you want, but is it a good deal, is it a bad deal? You see, that's the problem very often. We only look at a binary approach here, good, bad. Well, maybe what we should think about is uh, what are the nine indicators? The nine indicators that can tell you, yes, it's a good deal and I think we should go for it. When, when should we say yes? Well, you remember these three pillars? People, problems, process. Well, if you want to, to tell us if it's a good deal, if you want to, to determine yourself if it's a good deal, you need to look at these three dimensions again. These three pillars. Pillar one, the people. Is it a good deal? Well, it's a good deal if what? If the relationship between the two of you as negotiators is better, has improved, it's good, you have worked on that. Well, that's an indication it was a good negotiation. It's a good deal also if you have implemented your mandate well, you're thinking hard at this point when you are closing the deal and you're saying, that's right, I believe that uh, if I go back home with that deal to my boss, I think my boss will like that deal. But you don't forget that the other side also going to see their boss. So you better check if the deal that is on the table is also in line, not simply with your boss, but with their boss. Third dimension, the stakeholders. Think hard. If we put this deal out there, it's not simply about the two of us as negotiators. It's not simply about our two bosses. What about the other stakeholders? Are we sure that the stakeholders who might be affected by the negotiation will be okay, will implement the deal. So you see, make sure that the three elements of relationship are really kept in line when you are ready to close the deal. And then the problems, because that's what you've been working on most of your time. So make sure that yes, the motivations. You remember how important it is to think about your motivation and the other side's motivation. Make sure that you have integrated in the deal as many of these motivations. Make sure that the solutions at the table have created a lot of value. You are there at the negotiation table to create value. Create value, that's something that you must have done. If you have done that well, what you have here as a possible deal is much better than your solution away from the table your plan B and their plan B. So that's another good reason to go for that deal. And the fourth, remember justification? Yes, the solution at the table must be anchored in the justification. You need to be able to explain that deal to your boss. They need to be able to explain that to their boss. So the best justification will mean very often that the deal will fly. Well, the two remaining aspects have to do with process. Are you clear about what are your duties and what are the, your rights? Right? Have you communicated clearly about that? Right? Communication is important. Right? All the answers have been, all the questions have been answered and all the information is available. Right? So we are clear that this deal is clear in terms of communication. And finally, the logistics right, of uh, the next steps has been clear. The process of where do we go from here in terms of implementation. So you see, are you ready to say yes? Probably if these nine indicators, or many of them, hopefully all of them, most of them, have been taken into account. You could say yes.